San Patricio Plaza is part of San Patricio Village and uh, it was uh, coincidentally it was it opened in 1964 this day so 55 years later we're announcing the square at San Patricio Plaza which is a new wing of the, of the enclosed mall which is going to be open air lifestyle center that offers a lot of variety of stores new stores restaurants bars entertainment and it will be a whole new concept to reposition san patricio plaza as the premier uh, shopping center in the guaynao and san juan area uh, this used to be a, an 80, 87 000 square foot space and we're going to uh, keep 60 000 square square feet of retail it's going to be completely redone so uh, the rest of the space we're going to have an, an open air plaza we're going to have uh, we're going to have landscaping, fountains, and a, and a meeting place to have events in the future. Uh, we're going to start in, in January with the first phase, which faces the interior of the existing uh, uh, shopping center. And uh, it will be done, finished in two phases. The initial delivery of stores would be at the end of two, 2020. And then the, the larger part, 75% of the exterior area will be finished before the end of 2021. The investment is going to be uh, over $12 million. Uh, we, we believe in our market. We are confident that this is the right project for our, our shopping center. Um, we've done a lot of studies uh, in order to prepare for this project. And we uh, have one of the, probably the strongest trade area of any shopping center in Puerto Rico. So, uh, and retailers look at the numbers. So I'm gonna bring the numbers with me. And I'm sure that uh, any, any retailer who's looking to expand into Puerto Rico will see a great opportunity coming to the square at San Patricio Plaza. Now you mentioned um, the, your core uh, audience. Yes. Uh, can you talk to me a little bit about, you know, what those numbers are and what they represent in terms of income and buying power? For sure. Um, we, we did a geofence study, uh, so we actually know our trade area better than, than ever. Uh, and uh, as a result of that study, we, we found out that we have the highest household income in our core trade area, higher than any other core trade area of, on, oh, of any other shopping center in the Juan metropolitan area. Also, we have the, higher, uh, the highest education level in our core trade area and the highest visit uh, frequency of any shopping center in the San Juan metropolitan area. So we are very confident that we have the right, uh, we are doing the right project for, the, for, for our center. And so, you know, it's, um, it's a good opportunity, you would say, for perhaps these retailers who haven't um, been to Puerto Rico or haven't opened a location here? Definitely, it is a great opportunity to come to Puerto Rico. There are a lot of benefits uh, that the government is giving out. We have a great project that definitely will change the way people see shopping centers in general in Puerto Rico. We, we will have a great mix of entertainment and retail. Um, we have the best location of any shopping center in, in, in Puerto Rico with regards to demographics. So it is a great opportunity and Puerto Rico is open for business and the timing is right. And the shopping center industry is evolving and entertainment, uh, restaurants are a big part of, of the new shopping center. Are, they are becoming the anchors of the shopping center and the experience as well. We, we are proposing uh, an amazing project, an, an open air lifestyle center as Tito mentioned, like no other in Puerto Rico. Um, and the shopping center has become the anchor itself. So we are uh, uh, providing the best experience in any shopping center uh, scenario in Puerto Rico. So it's a great opportunity for, for uh, tenants to come to the market. And the mix will be uh, roughly 30% uh, food and entertainment. And uh, obviously we will stick to our core business, which is retail. Uh, Ms. Montoto, you mentioned that you traveled uh, to many malls in the U.S. and Latin America, right? Looking at what's happening. Can you talk to us a little bit about what you saw? Yes, we, we saw the, this, this transformation of the industry in which the enclosed mall is evolving into some um, open air areas where, where you see the entertainment and, and, and the retail coming together. And, so, and that's what you're, you're using, obviously, to create using, this. To create this new project. Okay, thank you.